I want to advise all the sugar daddies. As a sugar daddy, you know yourself. You're a married man and you're a sugar daddy, you know yourself. Why do you need this, my advice? You need this, my advice, so that your wife doesn't turn to a widow. You need this, my advice, so that your children don't turn to fatherless children. You need this, my advice, so that you don't die before your time. You need this, my advice, so that you don't die shamefully just the way you guys are dying. A little girl of 18 years of age will pick up a knife and kill you, butcher you like a fowl. Because of your carelessness and your recklessness. Because of your promiscuous lifestyle. So you need my advice. But it's a thing of choice. If you like, you take my advice. If you like, you throw my advice away. I will still give the advice. As a sugar daddy, you can have as many side baby as you want. You can have as many side chicks as you want. Have as many side girl as you want. But remember the case of Samson and Delilah in the Bible. Remember the case of Samson and Delilah. I know that most of you are very conversant with the story of Samson and Delilah. Samson was the strongest man in the Bible, but it did not take Delilah up to two minutes to take away his power. It did not take Delilah up to two minutes to cut the hair of Samson. The power of Samson lies in the beauty of his hair. He has a long hair, beautiful hair. So once you can cut the hair of Samson, you have taken away his power. Samson can bring down mountains. Samson can pull rocks. Samson is the strongest man in the Bible, recorded. But after cutting the hair of Samson, Samson cannot kill an ant. Samson cannot even kill cockroach because of a woman. Now as a billionaire, as the richest man in Africa, as a rich man that has been hustling, you've been hustling and taking care of yourself, building empires, buying assets, doing investments, it will take a little girl of 20 years to bring you to your end. It will take a girl of 20 years to make sure that you are not living. You don't see the light of the next day. Your enemies in the place of your work, you could have enemies, people that don't like you. They will use your weak points. They know that your weak point is a woman. They know that once you they know that once you um, bring a little girl, present that little girl to this man, he gets weak. And that is how they kill you. Now, what am I saying? As a man, if you must live long, then you must say no to anything that will get you to your end. I advise most of you to marry many women. I said it is impossible for a man to live with just one woman. People came to my inbox and was telling me, why will you advise people to do that? Why will you tell men to marry more wives? In this kind of situation where everything is hard, I told you, if you can afford it, marry many women. Now I bring back the question to you. Is it now better that your husbands die in the hands of little girls? What do you, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer your husband to marry more wives? Or for your husband to die shamefully in the hands of a 20 years old girl? If you can afford it, you can marry a woman and keep her in Port Harcourt. Marry another one, keep her in Abuja. Marry another one and keep her in Lagos. Marry another one and keep her in Enugu, in an Imo state, in an Abia state. Once you can take care of them. It's not a must that each of them will have three, three children. You can have four wives and they will have one, one child each. They will have one, one child each. Yes. Since it's very hard for a man to stay with one woman. So since you say it is not good for a man to stay with one woman. Why are you now having side chicks? Why is your husbands having side babies? Why are they killing your husbands? You guys were arguing with me. Say, you oh, no, it is not possible. How come I told you that there is no man that does not have side chick? Heinz is a married man. Let him swear there is no married man that can swear today that he doesn't have a woman. Or ever since he got married to his wife that he has not slept with another woman. No man can swear, but a woman can keep herself. I told you guys. Now that is not my subject matter. Get yourself another wife. So that you don't die in the hands of a side baby, a side girl, a side chick. You have a wife at home. Your wife will tell you, honey, I, I want you to make love to me. You say, no. 
You are not in the mood for love making. You, you are tired. You have been exhausted. But you have run to a hotel. You have gone to drink um, manpower. You have called that little girl of 23 years of age to come and meet you in the hotel. And you are shouting on the bed, baby, break this waist. Baby, scatter my waist. Baby, don't allow this waist to survive the, ne to survive the next day. Baby, make sure that you break this waist. But your wife was begging you for that same love making. You refused to give it to your wife. Now you are shouting on the bed with manpower. After killing yourself on the bed, after five minutes, the man is dead. We are losing men. We are losing men. We are losing men and many more men will die if you don't take my advice. Many more men will die. Get you another wife. Your wives will protect you. A side chick will not protect you. Your wives will not kill you. A side chick will kill you. When you call a girl and you put her in a hotel and you'll be making call, calling your wife and your family, do you think she's going to allow you to leave the next day? Women are naturally jealous. They don't like themselves. So how can you ask a small side chick to hide in the drawer and wardrobe when, while you talk to your wife? And you expect her to wake up, to come out of that wardrobe or, or cupboard without killing you? Think about it. Think about it. We are losing men every day. You will not allow your wife to touch your head because in Ibo land, once a woman touches the head of her husband, it's her law. But look at what that little 20 years old girl is doing to your head in hotel. She's folding the head like fufu. You will tell her, baby, fold this head. Baby, fold oh, this head. Fold this head. The same head you don't allow your wife to fold. Your side chick have your ATM pin. But your wife doesn't know the pin. The pin of your ATM. The, the little girls that you're going out with, they know the amount you have in your account. They know how much your husband's keep. Women, be wise, though. You guys should be wise. They know how much your husband's lot in accounts. But you don't even know how much your husband have. These side chicks know the investment. How many investments your husband have. That is why when they die, the side chicks inherit a lot of things and you don't know nothing. You guys should start thinking. Your wife will cook a delicious food. You will not compliment her and appreciate her. But that little girl just went to buy fried rice in crunches. And you are shouting, oh baby, this your food is fantastic. You know how to cook. Hello, sugar daddy. She just bought that food down the street. I have a, 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 a banker friend. She said that one married man died. And when it's time for the wife to claim the money in the bank, the wife's name was not there. The children of the wife, the wife wasn't there. Now appears that there is a little girl, the man, is having something with. The name of that girl is what they wrote as nest of king. That is how far these men are going. Your wife will tell you to enhance your, your love-making skill. Honey, this is our skill. This our style is outdated. Please, I want us to have... Uh, this our missionary style is, is outdated. Let's have it in the bathroom. Let's have new style. You say no, you don't want. But you are dead changing style with a little girl in the hotel room. After which they will kill you. How do you expect a woman to mourn a man that died like this? How do you expect women to mourn? Get you many more wives. You say no. Now you are dying in the hands of little girls. Which one do you prefer? I leave you all to Jojo. I leave you all to Jojo. Like I said, many more men will die. You don't appreciate your wife. Your wife is like a slave at home. Your side chick know the amount you have. Know the investment you have. Know how much you, can, you, you have in your account. But your wife does not know anything. And you want that same woman to mourn you. I've told women. Be very wise. Be very wise. Let me reiterate what I said before. Sugar daddies, it takes two minutes for a girl to bring you down. Just two minutes. Two minutes, all your investment, all the time you've been hustling in life. It takes a girl two minutes. Your enemies will use your weak point, which is a woman, to kill you. The choice is yours. Like I said, your wife will not kill you, but that side chick will kill you. It's your decision to take. Women, be wise. Be wise. Be wise.